I'm sitting here thinking, what's my next video gonna be? Flipping through, I mean, I can do it on this stuff, I, I can do it on this guy. I mean, I've already done most of the movies, I'll probably visit that. And, you know, I just couldn't come up with anything, so I'm just sitting there, flipping through YouTube, and because of the beautiful algorithm, I run into fucking Japanese Spider-Man, and I'm like, yeah, I know, there's a bunch of other Spider-Man, I mean, you got ours, you got these guys, I mean, there's a ton, but Japanese Spider-Man, that, that seemed kind of different, so, popped it on, sat back, I didn't know what I was expecting, then I got this. And it was perfect. So the first episode starts with some guy in a cave calling on his brother, right? And then he starts calling for this, uh, like, uh, Marveler thing. Which is, all it is, is just like a, a rocket ship that looks like Voltron or Transformers or, or Power Rangers, right? So that's flying in the air, and he's, like, calling for Marveler and Lepardo or Leopardon. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Leopardon, right? So he's calling him, he's like, come come on, bro, and come on, fucking Power Ranger ship, uh, come to Earth. And then they clip to, like, these two people that look like a, a, a knockoff of, like, they wanted to do a Doctor Doom and, like, a really cheap prostitute. And they're just standing there looking at, like, what's going on and listening. And then it cuts to, like, these two scientists, and, like, the professor's like, it, it might be a meteor, but, I mean, come on, it's a goddamn spaceship. So, the spaceship's flying through the air. And then they, they cut to, like, Spider-Man, but it's not Spider-Man. It's just a guy playing Spider-Man. And he's, uh, I guess he's a fucking dirt bike racer or something. And he's riding around in a spider bike. And it's not the spider bike, but it looks like it. And, like, his little brother's like, yay, you're, you're the greatest motorcycle guy in the world. And the, the lady that's taking pictures of him she, she sees that the spaceship coming down and everybody's looking at it and goes like Godzilla style crazy and it crashes into the wall uh, where, the, where the guy that was like hey bro come to the cave hey spaceship come to the cave and now the ship crashed into the cave and they're trying to figure out what's going on so the Doctor Doom knockoff and a prostitute. It turns out their names is Professor Monster and the uh, Amazonness, right? So they're like, wait a minute, the the ship was supposed to be gone 400 years ago, and the guy in the caves turns out his name is uh, what Gorilla? I think that's what it is, Gorilla or something like that. Uh, he's supposed to be dead too, and then like the the Doctor Doom guy, he, he's like, well, he's got telepathic powers. I guess that's how that shit works, right? So they're like, well, not only does he know it's coming, that, that Professor Yashimiro or Yashimushi, or whatever his name, Yashimura. The Professor Yashimura is like, we got to see what it is. And they're like, no, he's going to find out and make a weapon of mass destruction. We got to kill him. So uh, Professor fucking Monster Doom, whatever his fucking name is, He's like, all right, Amazonist, you need to go and kill Professor Yashimu Suzuki, whatever, um, and make sure that he dies so, again, he doesn't make a weapon of mass destruction. And so she changes, and he's like, I'm going to get one of those kaijus from the closet, like Power Ranger style, and we're going to go kill everyone. So she goes and she changes into, like, a... Uh, like her super costume which is which is an editor at like a newspaper place and magically she runs into the same lady that was uh, taking pictures of spider-man doing the dirt bike jumps <coughs> and the editor amazon this prostitute lady she's like looks through the photos and she's like no i don't care about spider-man go investigate the spaceship so she goes and she says, okay, I'm going to go inve investigate the spaceship. And then that's, that's kind of like what happens there. 
And then they cut to this scene where the guy that's Spider-Man is there with the little brother in the house in the living room uh, adjusting the carburetors on the motorcycle. The whole house is getting, you know, stunk. That made no sense. But the, the, the sister is like, hey, you can't ride motorcycles because dad needs us to go to the mountains and find a meteor because he's the professor guy, I guess. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm racing because that's what I do. And then... um. The professor's like, yeah, that's cool. We don't need them. I got some other Asian help that is going to help us. So while this is happening, they're like, yeah, we're going to go for the meteors. You can go for your race. And then Spider-Man's like hearing the, the guy's voice is like, hey, bro, you still haven't been to the cave. And I even got a cool spaceship that you can like learn shit from or whatever. Like, uh, so just come over here. But he's kind of not paying attention. So as he keeps hearing the voices, he starts getting mad, and he's like, all right, who's, who's making the voices? He goes outside, and he's like, hey, who are you? And he still can't figure it out, right? So the next day happens, and, like, the professor dad is like, all right, we're going to go. You guys go this way, and we go this way. We're going to meet somewhere in the middle to, to find a meteor, right? At that time... The Spider-Man motorcycle guy is like, come on, little bro, we're going to go to the race. All right. And again, uh, Galraya, Gyra is like, hey, bro, I've been calling you since like 2 a.m. Uh, you need to bring your ass to the cave, right? So he tells the, the kid, and I, I don't know whether it was the kid's house or not. He just leaves him on the road. He's like, I got to go, little dude. I'm not going to the race. I'm going to go follow the magic voice because there was this giant... Uh, spider net that told me to follow it so at the same time that he's like driving up to this mountain for, for some weird coincidence that's the same mountain that like his professor dad was at and well it's, it's kind of makes sense because that's where the voice was calling from i mean his dad didn't know anyways so as they're uh looking for the meteor the the, the hooker the amazon hooker she goes and she's like okay we're gonna activate power ranger monster and he starts killing everybody and uh he i don't know whether he killed the, the professor at the time or, or one guy but he does kill the other professor uh fucking spider-man's dad and he like does a montage on the rock and like he doesn't have any visible bruises but he's like uh remember with he does a great power with great responsibility line but like his own version and then he just kills over and that's it and then spider-man gets mad and he's like no my dad right and then the goombas come out and what i mean by the goombas is that they're purple and then they have duck bills on them so they're like uh duck bill goombas this is what they are so the duck goombas i can't even come up with a goddamn name because that's what they look like then he tries to fight the goombas but these goombas are bad like badasses man because they cut him in a jugular and he's trying to escape he's like bleeding out and he falls he magically falls into the cave with with the guy goraya that's been calling him for like two days <laughs> and he is like hey bro you fucking you're the one that's attacking everybody and goraya is like no i've been calling you for two days or something and then uh he passes out and goraya is like man i gotta i gotta help this guy so he says, I got magic spider blood because I've been bitten by spiders for 400 years. So he goes and he says, all right, here, you wear this magic bracelet and the blood's going to go on you and you're going to uh, be better now. And so then when Spider-Man finally gets up from being cured from the uh, from the magic spider blood bracelet, he gets all pissed off again. And he was like, hey, dickhead. You, you killed my dad because you're, you did it. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, that wasn't me. That was a uh, fucking uh, Professor Monster and his hooker friend, Am Amazonas. They went into my planet, Spider, and they killed all my people. And I was like, I'm going to get this guy. So I followed him to Earth and I was going to whoop his ass. But I got stuck in this cave somehow. Or they put me in here. And... Before they put me in here, I told my magic ship, uh, Megalodon, to uh, uh, to fly away so they couldn't get it. But for like 400 years, they've been eating my ass with spiders or something. 
and uh, they, that's the guy that killed your dad. And now we're gonna team up and just kick their ass for revenge. And he's like, okay, I'm in. Then he tells him, all right, sweet, we're gonna get revenge and we're gonna kick ass. But I'm just gonna finish this this uh, monologue and kill over and die just like your dad. But I'm not gonna die like your dad. I'm gonna come back uh, Jiminy Cricket style, and I'm gonna be the spider that that uh, it's like your co-pilot or something. Like your uh, God damn it. You know, sometimes I think of, of what the word is, and it's right there, and I just can't fucking remember it. Anyways, we'll move on from there. So he's kind of like that, and he's like, all right, we're friends now. And then poof, uh, he ends up in his house. And uh, he's in Spider-Man's house. So now that he's at his house, he's kind of like hanging out and stuff. And it's, I guess it's his sister. She's like, damn, ever since dad died, uh, he's lazy. And the brother's like, yeah, he's just he's just trying to collect himself and stuff, right? And then uh, now Garaya the Spider-Man. Well, yeah, actually, he'd be more of a Spider-Man because he was a man and now he's a spider. Anyways, so Garaya is like, hey, I gave you a cool bracelet not to just sit your ass on the bed, but uh, for you to do stuff and kill the, the Iron Cross army. And we also need to get the, the hooker and... Uh, uh, Professor Monster, right? And he's like, okay, so he has like this two second montage of like, I can do like two or three flips and this is how my clothes come on. And, and, and you know, he's got a bracelet and, and that's where his magic, well, not, yeah, like his alien magic powers are in this metallic bracelet in his arm. And so he's like, yeah, this is what I can do, son. And he's happy. Like, all right, let's, let's go kick ass and, and take names and uh, the bubble gum. So now when he's going to go hunt down the, the 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 cross army thing, right? And they have like this montage of him like, hey, look at me. I'm, uh, I've learned that I have spider sense and uh, I'm sensing that uh, the, that's bad guys over there. And he's shooting stuff from his magic bracelet, like a three inch thick rope. And, you know, he's climbing, he's climbing up the same walls. They just kind of darken it and lighten it. And, you know, finally... <laughs> Finally, after about uh, 20 seconds of him just repeating the same footage over and over, he ends up at like this dam where where all the bad guys are. I don't know why they were in a dam, but I guess that's where they put... Um, I guess they kidnap one of the professors. I guess they don't kill everybody. Hey, good for you, uh, uh, Team Iron Cross. And so he starts, you know, scaling up the damn wall, which, uh, <laughs> which is very interesting because... Uh, yeah, it wasn't that a uh, that of an incline. I think it was pretty basic, but I mean, <laughs> fuck am I to judge? Anyways, so he's climbing up this. So they're telling the other scientists, they're like, "Hey, you need to be a bad guy scientist like us because that's how we roll." And he's like, "Nah, I don't want to do that. That's not that's not kind of my style." And so, Spider Man is going downstairs, and he says this. He says one of the greatest lines ever. <laughs> Spider-Man! And then so he's sitting there and he tells uh, uh, the Amazonist lady, he's like, hey, I'm going to get revenge for me and my boy fucking Jiminy Cricket and we're going to kick your ass. And so he starts beating everybody up and he saves the other professor to get him out of there and they like morph out because it's just a quick cut and... Uh, Amazon lady's like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not taking this anymore. Uh, go, go, Power Ranger, and the, the, that it's like an alligator with axes comes out, and he's like, all right, Spider Man, let's go. And Spider Man's like, okay, this is a little harder than I thought. All right, and so he's like, I need to get my, my, my vehicle, right? So like, in this series, Spider Man has a car slash flying jet that that goes into the. Uh, that goes into the the uh, the spaceship, right? And then he's like, "All right, spaceship. Uh, now that we've gone full Power Ranger uh, mode, uh, we're gonna have to go from the the Marveler to Leopardon, which all it is is just like a very cheaply made Voltron character. And so they start fighting like Godzilla style, 
and he's like, I got super moves. I got a boomerang hat, a boomerang, blah, 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 English, a boomerang hat, and I, I have a sword in my knee. And so they start fighting and, you know, of course, Spider-Man's going to win because he's like, I got all these uh, cool toys and stuff and you can't beat me. And then he explodes just like every single other, uh, just like every single other Power Ranger episode you've seen. And so, once that happens, uh, uh, Amazon Lady and Professor Monster are like, damn it, uh, he just beat us. We're just going to have to figure out another way to, to get him. And then Spider-Man's like, with hard work, I'll, I'll make sure I beat these people always and forever. Because if I don't, I mean, you know what the Japanese culture believe in? And how, you know, how they look in failure. Uh, yeah, but that was the, uh, that was the first episode of, uh, that was the first episode of, uh, of Spider-Man. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the, uh, to the second one. Uh, yeah.